Well, hey everybody, I know people have been asking about uh, my first impressions of owning the Cybertruck. And as you can see, there's a lot of people here at the uh, supercharger that I stopped at uh, for my trip back to San Antonio. And literally everywhere that I go, this kind of reaction. There's so many people excited about it. They want to know about it. Uh, and the funny thing is, is all you have to do is ask the kids. They know everything about the Cybertruck. So I know there's been a lot of talk about needing to advertise or get the awareness out, but uh, here in the middle of South Texas, uh, we are getting a lot of response. Every, you know, as soon as I pulled in, just a whole bunch of trucks, a lot of people came out to see this, uh, uh, the Cybertruck, and it's, it's actually really great, and I'm just uh, thrilled to be able to share it with everybody. Now, as far as ownership, uh, a couple of things that uh, I just, uh, my first impressions are is, uh, it's definitely a bigger vehicle. It really drives well on the highway. It's quiet. There's very little, if any, wind noise. And just overall, the uh, driveline and just the, the driving experience is very smooth and very quiet. Um, I've had a lot of people ask about the drive-by uh, wire steering and the four-wheel steering and what do I think about that. And, you know, initially when I got into it, it was uh, kind of surprising how responsive it was. But to be honest, very rapidly I got used to that and now I actually prefer it and it works really, really well. The four-wheel steering itself makes it great for parking lots and areas where the uh, clearances are pretty you know, small, but it makes the truck extremely maneuverable through those sections. Now, one thing that I would like to see a change on has to do with backing it up like you see here at the uh, superchargers. The cameras right now work pretty well uh, and also the side mirrors but without having that uh, distance control installed right now it uh, sometimes is difficult to know exactly how far you've backed up the truck and uh, just based on its design you're sitting much closer to the front than the rear and uh, I just found that backing up right now with the way the software is, uh, before we get FSD, before we get the uh, display where it shows the surroundings, it makes it a little bit difficult. Now, another thing that uh, my observation has to do with the rear view mirror, and we all know that the uh, physical mirror, uh, when the tanu cover is closed, really doesn't give you anything at all. Uh, I find myself constantly looking up there even now after a week, but when I do look down on the screen, the display is very good. It's a wide angle view. And I've noticed, uh, as you can tell by this image here, that as the cars behind you arrive and then if they pull around you on the side, the wide angle view allows you to see them all the way until they're just about a beam of the Cybertruck. So the, the wide angle helps in that regard, but it also kind of hurts because all of the, the visuals of the vehicles behind you seem to be distorted you know, a little bit farther back. So it's kind of hard to get the exact uh, measurement of how far behind you the vehicles are. So I find myself using the side mirrors a lot to kind of compensate. So what I would like to see, and maybe in the future, is it would be great if the physical mirror actually was the camera as well. And uh, that would also, provide another option or a, maybe a, a fix and that is I've noticed when you come to a stop like say at a stoplight and you have the turn signal on the direction that you're going image on the screen replaces the rear view mirror and that's not really horrible except I find myself often wanting to look behind me to see what vehicles are there while I'm getting ready to turn and without that rear view mirror display uh, it kind of makes that difficult. So I default again to looking to the side view mirrors. The last thing that uh, just sort of my observation while I was down at Starbase on the beach and uh, uh, being out there for hours, the windows kind of get uh, covered with, uh, you know, some of that salt spray and, and everything that's on the beach. And take care. And uh, trying to clean the windshield. Uh, it's uh, a very large windshield. So I, I have to stand up on the sill on both sides to try to reach the upper part and towards the middle and then around the 
ground, I have to try to reach the rest of it. And there's usually a section right in the middle that it's very hard to get. So uh, I'll have to come up with some other solution for that as well. But otherwise, the uh, supercharging uh, seems to go really well. Um, the trip has gone really well so far. Uh, the experiences of having it down at uh, Starbase uh, were, were outstanding being on the beach. Uh, the, the response of the public has been just enormous and the interest. Uh, I would say that a, a good couple thousand people saw it, took pictures, sat in it, asked a lot of questions while I was on the beach alone. Uh, when I was down at uh, South Padre Island trying to go to restaurants, uh, one of the interesting uh, uh, experiences was a lot of the spring break uh, crowd would uh, kind of swarm around the car and then they would follow me into the restaurant to ask me questions as well. So, uh, you know, so experiences like that, what I saw on the beach down by Starbase, and of course what you just saw here at the Supercharger, uh, I would say at least for a while, if you have a Cybertruck, just plan to uh, be answering a lot of questions and being at your location where you stop a, a little longer than you had planned. Now I'm gonna get ready to uh, finish up the supercharging here. I went from about 20% uh, charge to about 85% charge. That took about uh, 25 minutes. And uh, we are at uh, a 250 kilowatt site. So the uh, charging went really well. I now have about 946 miles on the Cybertruck. And currently my average uh, energy use has been about 446 watt hours per uh, mile. So, uh, so far pretty good. And uh, uh, as you can see, I'm joined by yet another Cybertruck. So a pretty uh, kind of a rare occurrence here, but uh, uh, we're all stopping at the superchargers like you would see with uh, just regular uh, Teslas anyway. And uh, again, uh, just uh, it's been a great experience so far. So I'll continue to try to give you some updates and uh, let you uh, know what the rest of the trip was like when I get back to San Antonio. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I hope this answered some of your questions.